Loop examinations can feel overwhelming, but with the right structure, they are surprisingly straightforward. I'll break down how to examine the frontal loop, one of the most frequently tested areas in the FRC exam. I'll show you a simple step-by-step -step approach. First of all, we have to agree on the general items. For each loop, you have to follow the general items, which is asking about the patient name and age, right or left-handed, and also asking about orientation to personal place and time. And then you add something specific like a matter from inspection or scars from surgical, surgical operations. Moving forward to the frontal loop. So we're trying to remember the items of frontal loop by looking to the patient face and limbs. Looking to the patient forehead to remember the executive function testing where they, you can testing the patient ability to recite the months backwards. And also, we'll ask him about assessing abstract thinking. If he's able to understand an abstract like an apple doesn't fall from the tree, patient should be able to demonstrate understanding that children often resemble their parents in their tree. Look to the patient eyes and remember the testing the frontal eye feels. And that by asking the patient, to look alternately to your finger and fist without moving his head. Look for eye movement or any abnormality in aesthetic eye movement. Moving to the nose, ask the patient about the smell, if he have any experience changing in the smell or difficulty in smelling things. Moving to the, to the language, by looking to the mouth of the, of the patient, you remember the asking about expressive dysphagia the language frontal loop. That can happen can done by asking the patient to repeat sentence like sun is shining. And also after that, you show him an object like a pen and have the patient name them. And then you testing his verbal fluency by naming as many animals as he can in one minute. Moving forward, looking to the patient limbs, you will ask about motor function, pronator drift, and primitive reflexes. We're starting usually with a, with a pronator drift by asking the patient to close his eyes and his hands like holding a tray and close your eyes. If there is a pronator drift, that means there is an affection of the frontal loop. Also, we're testing the motor functions to see if there is a motor weakness. What about the primitive reflexes? In the primitive reflexes, there is a many primitive reflexes you can test if they are present or not. Present any primitive reflexes usually denoting there is a frontal loop affection. I choose main, mainly three primitive reflexes to show. First one is grasp reflex. Place your fingers in their palms and observe if they are voluntarily grasping your, your finger. Palmomental reflex. Stroke the palm and watch if there is a twitch in the lower lip. Glabella reflex. Tap the glabella in the forehead and note if there is a blinking present ex excessively. Thank you.